family. The lighting of the mayor's Christmas tree in KCK featured a group of children whose fathers made the ultimate sacrifice. They're the kids of two KCK police officers killed protecting the community they loved only months apart. KCTV 5's Betsy Webster is live now from City Hall. Betsy. Well, Ellen, there is the mayor's Christmas tree behind me, all aglow, really quite pretty to look at. You know, this could have been a sad moment tonight when you consider why those kids were selected to flip the switch, but they seem to truly enjoy taking center stage and receiving that special honor. The sounds of Christmas filled KCK's City Hall as kids took turns with Santa and Mrs. Claus passing on their wishes. For puppies. The mood was carefree, but this year's celebration may have been more touching than most because of who was picked to flip this specially designed group switch. A long bar switch so all of the kids could help turn it on together. These are the kids he's talking about. Their dads were cops, both killed in the line of duty. Detective Brad Lancaster and Captain Dave Melton. Melton was killed in July while trying to stop a man suspected in a drive-by. Lancaster was killed in May when he approached a man by the Kansas Speedway about suspicious behavior. All of us who have experienced loss and grief know that the holidays are hard and we want to just let the families know that they're still in our hearts and our thoughts and prayers. The wind was strong enough to bring tears, but there was not a single sign of sadness as the lawmen's loved ones flipped the switch hey! and watched the tree glow bright. Merry Christmas, everyone, and thank you for coming out. Now, when I mentioned that the kids seem to be genuinely excited to be a part of this, I say that because after the lights came on, I saw them on the stage dancing, some of them spinning each other around, even a little chorus line of four of them doing high kicks. Now, as for their father's murders, police caught someone, arrested someone, I should say, for each of those crimes, those two men are in jail awaiting trial. Live in Kansas City, Kansas, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.